It happened in this middle school here in Whitehall, J.E. Harrison Middle School. And the boy's family tells me that he simply asked his teacher a question when he was punched without warning. I still can't believe I'm in loss of words for it. Jerome Sherwood is confused and angry about what he says his stepson went through in the halls of his middle school at the hands of a teacher he admired. He used to come up and talk about the teacher. You know what I mean? Like how good of a teacher he is, and he was in the army and whatnot. And he looked up to him. Until Wednesday. They were changing classes, and he was just going into the room, and he said to his teacher, Oh, can I go to the locker and get my book? Teacher said no, and took a full fist and Bam, right into the stomach and chest area. He doubled over, he blacked out, and fell to the floor. The seventh grader's grandmother rushed to J.E. Harrison Middle School to get him, and she says it got worse when her 13 year old grandson explained how hard he was hit by his teacher. He fell on his face, his nose, his eye, and cheek, and uh, he said when he woke up, he was in the classroom sitting. He doesn't know how he got there. The boy's family says he told another teacher who took him to the office and called his family. They called police, took the boy to the hospital to be checked, and has kept him out of school. It's just like a real emotional day. It's just for, for everybody. His family says they were told the teacher was placed on leave, but they want answers before they send the seventh grader back to school. The principal said, well, if the teacher comes back, um, Damon will not be in his classroom. And we're like, hope not. Hope the teacher doesn't come back and do this to anybody else. I repeatedly contacted the school, sent emails and left messages, but never received a response. We also went to Whitehall's police department and were told they simply didn't have time to talk with us. Live in Whitehall, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.